morning, I'm Emily Ashford, and congratulations on braving the harsh Los Angeles weather to join me in celebrating the Hollywood award season and all that it has to offer. Yes, glamour, vanity, screeners on DVDs that no one can even play. <laughs> Giant press boxes full of stuff you re-gift to your relatives in the Midwest. <laughs> and awards, yes, welcome to the 2022 HCA Awards. Yes, wow, the HCAs. This is, um, this is my first one. I'm so grateful to be here for the HCA, which stands for the Hockey Canada Alliance. <laughs> oh, Canada, I love Canada. You gave us Joni Mitchell. You gave us delicious maple syrup. You gave us angry truck drivers. And my favorite, over-the-counter codeine. You know what I'm talking about, what? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, my mistake. You know, I haven't hosted anything since um, my New Year's show on New Year's Eve 2020, and that went well. <laughs> Welcome to the HCA, the Hollywood Critics Association Film Awards, yes! Yeah, I know that you're probably all tired from the SAG Awards last night, but tonight is gonna be so much more fun. The food is better. And there's no commercial breaks, okay? Get into it. Um, we're all enjoying movies together again, which feels like a miracle. So let's celebrate that miracle tonight. It is time to drop the Hollywood veneer, except for most of your teeth, they can stay on. And uh, we're, we're gonna play a little game. Um, it's, it's a little icebreaker. Um, I love to do these kinds of things. <laughs> you know, we've all been missing game nights. Um, so to get the ball rolling, um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna sing a song. You can't run. I had security lock the doors like carry on prom night. <laughs> all right, we're gonna use the song Hand in My Pocket by Alanis Morissette. It's a great song from the 90s. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of it unless you're in the cast of Euphoria. <clears throat> Okay, here are the rules. Um, I'm gonna flip this baby right here, so if you paid big money, you can see this. Uh, the rest of you, um, if you see a word, then you sing that word. If it says echo, then you echo. If it says percussion, then hit something, like take your fork and your spoon and hit your glass or hit your booty. Just don't hit your neighbor, okay? Um, if it tells you to do something, that's what we in the biz call stage directions. So if it says take your shoes off, then go ahead and take your shoes off. We all know you want to. It's an award show. Okay, this is a safe space. Feel free to cozy up to your neighbor. Just ask for consent. Ask for whatever you need. Proof of vaccine, gum, maybe a driver's license with bank statement, whatever. Go. Let's go. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'm broke, but I'm... I'm poor, but I'm... I'm short, but I'm... Yeah, yeah, sing along with me. I'm high, but I'm... I'm sane, but I'm... I'm lost, but I'm... Baby, and what it all comes down to, my friends, is that everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Cause I got one hand in my pocket, and the other one is giving a high five. Yeah, it feels good, right?
singing that was so great wasn't that nice I feel like we're all a little bit closer now right you're welcome um, in all seriousness uh, during this crazy time in the world when we are praying for peace and coming back together it feels really good to share a hug with your neighbor even if that neighbor is your agent <laughs> all right you know I was thinking about on my drive over here about all the nominations and um, <clears throat> I have to talk about the elephant in the room. <sighs> there was a major snub this year. Um, one of the nominations that was missing was the Nicole Kidman AMC commercial. You guys know the one I'm talking about. She's walking in the rain up to an empty AMC movie theater. Um, I was actually up for that role. <laughs> Um, my self-tape was really, really good, <laughs> but um, Nicole got it again. <laughs> We're always up for the same role. It's so weird. <laughs> uh, that woman, she books everything. What can't she do, right? Um, uh, anyways, I was so jealous when I saw that AMC ad that I just, I wanted to close my eyes wide shut. I could watch her watch movies and an ad for watching movies for the hours. <laughs> Thank you, drums. <sighs> you know, award shows are like going to LA church. You go once a year, you get free wine, and there's a bunch of people on their knees. Can I get an amen? <laughs> so I'm very grateful to be here with you tonight, honoring the best of the best in film. And speaking of tonight, I have to talk about how many brilliant movie musicals we have represented here this evening. Hit it. <laughs> to playing Maria. West Side Story, what a masterpiece! Thank God, Nicole Kidman, again, she was so good in that film. All right, next up, Tick, Tick, Boom. to call it the fastest way to get Lyme disease. Do you get it? Tick, tick, boom, oh. Southern California, I thought that would be a good PSA. Okay, moving on. It was directed by, that was my favorite joke of the night. I was really hoping for a good one there. All right, directed by the amazing Lin-Manuel Miranda who is here tonight. Is he there? I don't know where he is. All right, speaking of Lin-Manuel Miranda, he also wrote another musical nominated this year. In the Heights! Darn it. Lin-Manuel Miranda, you and Nicole Kidman, what can't you do? All right, next up, Cyrano. Uh, I didn't know this was a musical. Peter Dinklage, you sound fantastic, that voice. Oh wait, ring, 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 hello. Um, Peter, it's for you. <gasps> it's Broadway, they're calling. Yes, amazing. All right, and my favorite musical of the year, it's an, it's an animated feature, and it's a classic in my home because I have a five-year-old. Written again by the incomparable Lin-Manuel Miranda and Kendo. been topping the charts for a couple reasons. Of course, it has a sick beat and a catchy melody, but it, all has, it also has something that 
that we can all relate to, right? It has secrets. It's about secrets. We all have an Uncle Bruno, someone in the family that we don't like to talk about. Maybe you have an Aunt Karen. I have an Uncle Randy who wears Confederate war garments to Thanksgiving dinner. this is a safe space so I'm coming out here you know it doesn't have to be a family member that you don't want to talk about it could be any secret for instance I know a lot of you are vegans a lot of you but not on Sundays when you're picking up brunch and you grab a side of bacon and you eat it in your car alone we don't talk about Secrets, guys. Right? I'm ready. I'm ready for some secrets. Um, what's your name? My name? I'm Caitlin. Yeah. Caitlin, what's your last name? Deaver. Caitlin Deaver. Wow, that's a beautiful name. I've never heard of you. Um, okay. Do you have a secret that you'd like to share with us? I didn't eat the Caesar salad. All right, guys, you know what the chorus is. What's your name? Um, Eugenio. Antonio? <laughs> Eugenio. Eugenio. It's beautiful. I've never heard of you before either. Tell us your secrets. Uh, I I'm Mexican. My friend, get ready. Here we go. It's a good one. took a turn there with us. I, I didn't know we were going there tonight. Okay. What's your name, sir? Huh? What's your name? Huh? Oh my god, his name is Huh. It's beautiful. Huh. Do you have any secrets besides your name? No. Yes. My life is an open book. You know what that means. He's got a lot of secrets. We don't talk about him. We don't talk about that guy. No, no, no. We don't talk about that guy. All right, I was going to stop at three, but you look like you want to tell us a secret. What's your name? Oh, uh, uh, what's my secret? Sure, what's your name, too? I think you should tell everyone. Oh, oh I'm Nick Cage. <laughs> Cage. I've never heard of you. Nick Cage, what's your secret? I'm going to have a baby girl in September. What's her name going to be? Oh, you don't have to tell us if you don't want to. Her name is Lennon Augie Cage. Lennon Augie Cage, all right. We're going to change up the lyrics about Lennon Augie Cage, and we're going to say, we do talk about Lennon tonight. Here we go! We do talk about Lennon, Lennon, yes. We do talk about Lennon. Well, how about that? That was magic! Beautiful! Congratulations! Joy and love. All right, guys, it's time for some awards. So I just want to remind you, if you win, Keep it short and tight, like this body. No, really, don't be like that guy at the Emmys. If you know, you know. See here, I don't know. Um, that was really beautiful. I feel like we're all closer now. We're one big happy family tonight, and in the spirit of togetherness, let's hit it. So sit back, relax, take your shoes off, and tweet about how hilarious my opening number was. Please welcome to the stage, Sam 